New laws continue to come out of the Capitol amid Arkansas's legislative session. On Monday, the governor signed a new law making it easier to sue doctors that provide kids transgender care for medical malpractice. A majority of the legislature supported the bill, but some Arkansans impacted still have questions. THP 11 Sarah Habakowitz explains. I should feel protected by the government. I shouldn't feel like I have to fight them or explain to them why I get to exist. 16 year old Camo Maynard O'Connell identifies as transgender. They and their mom are struggling to understand why this law and bills like it are coming from the Capitol. So to think that people who literally don't understand our story and don't know what their medical history is like to say this is how you need to treat your medical decisions. Um, it's very discouraging. The law doesn't ban transgender care outright, but allows patients under 18 or their caregivers to sue their doctors for medical malpractice up to 15 years after they become an adult. This creates difficulties with malpractice insurance, putting some medical providers like sex therapist Courtney Fearson at high risk for a lawsuit in a confidential field. Am I to choose lawfully abiding uh, by this legislation or am I to choose ethically abiding by my um, practice as a social worker? But supporters of the law, like Senator Bart Hester, say rather than limiting care, it only protects children further. I think it's it's really important ultimately to protect our, our children, especially ones that are that are struggling with gender identity right now. When kids are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, they just don't have the ability to make basic life choices, certainly that affect them for the very rest of their life. Governor Sanders team sharing with us in a statement in part that the governor quote supports bills that protect our kids and will support legislation that does just that. Still, transgender advocacy group Intransitive believes the law hurts those supporters say it's intended to protect. A lot of youth won't make it to 18. And that's the that's the piece that we've been arguing and the suicide rates for the trans community in general and for trans youth are higher than than cisgender people. In search of understanding, Camo and their mom continue working towards transgender advocacy. There's so much work that needs to be done and we're stuck, you know, asking questions about people's genitalia and bathrooms. And it just feels like we are not paying remotely the right attention. What's important to remember is that we're people too, we have stories. I think that things can get better. If we work at it, I do think that there is hope. Reporting in Little Rock, Sarah Horvakowitz, THV 11 News. Sarah, thank you. The law is set to go into effect 90 days after the legislative session adjourns.